Hello everyone, this is Brandon from Niche Gamer uh, and Nichiban. And I know it's been a few months since I last got a gift from our friends at P-Cube. And hopefully this one doesn't have any safety goggles in it. Check out the last what's in the box to get what I'm talking about there. But today we've got some special edition collector's goodies from their Otome title, Busta Fellows. And you can check our review on nichegamer.com to uh, check that out. I thought it was pretty good. But uh, let's get right into it. Where the... I swear I'm actually going to break something in here and totally embarrass myself. But I think I got it. Alrighty. So, if you don't know what an Otome title is, Otome Games, those are dating simulators, which I'm sure everyone in our audience is familiar with those. But, uh, for, uh, women, the protagonist is typically a girl. Here we go. We got the Switch version here. Well, the Switch physical edition. You can see there's our main character right there. Here's some of the love interests all around the place. Obviously, there's always one character given preference. It was the same in uh, Gal Gun, which uh, it's a common thing in uh, most titles of this nature. Let's see. Arrive in New Sieg, a beautiful American metropolis. Play the part of a strong, smart, and gifted journalist in, in this romantic adventure. Use your notepad to solve crucial puzzles while you journey into this thrilling interactive mystery to find love. Explore different routes and endings reflected by your choices. Shape your story through the choices you make and unlock special side stories to learn all about each character's true feelings. And so, you know, here's some characters right here. We've got Teuta, Tuta. I'm saying this terribly. Somebody from P-Cube, correct me, please. Uh, and then the love interests, Limbo, the guy who's big in the center, Shu, Helvetica, Mozu, and the hacker known as Scarecrow. And there's only one player, because, you know, these games are for lonely people, just like you. Busta Fellows, da -da. Busta Fellows press kit. Let me read this, make sure there's nothing, no sensitive info. Nah. Following the fantastic reception to its 2019 launch in Japan, Busta Fellows has been one of the most highly anticipated visual novels to be brought to the West. Which is true. Otome titles are very underserved in the West, so this might be the start of a trend changing. With a fully voiced protagonist and featuring many renowned voice actors recognizable from Final Fantasy, League of Legends, and more, step into the shoes of a strong, smart, and gifted journalist and brought in a life and death adventure in this thrilling visual novel. Romance, mystery, dangerous relationships, and the power to leap back in time and into the bodies of others. Busta Fellows follows our heroine, a young and independent journalist, as she becomes embroiled in a thrilling plot about love and murder. So there is supernatural element to it. Teuta, Teuta, our protagonist here, can go back in time, but she goes back in time into other people's bodies. So, you know, try telling somebody that they're going to die in five minutes when you jump into the body of like a hot dog vendor. That's actually a plot point. It's in the first chapter, so don't complain about spoilers. So, yeah, as an Otome, a genre known for its female leads and multiple romantic options, you control your own destiny in Busta Fellows. We hope you enjoy the game and this pack. I did enjoy the game. Thank you. So, let's look at this collector's edition stuff. I got a box here. A box that doesn't tell me what's inside it. Just says it's the collector's edition set. Let's be very gentle. So, unlike... Galgun, I didn't look up ahead of time what is in the collector's edition set. So, if I don't know what something is, that's on me. 
Okay, box is open. Set this over here. Scarecrow's mixtape. Now, I didn't do Scarecrow's route when I reviewed this game, so... I don't know. I think it's the soundtrack, maybe. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Let's see. We've got what looks like some kind of art cards. Always like those. Wait, what am I talking about? I did an article where I talked about what's in the collector's edition, but it's been so long I forgot, so it's like I'm going in blind. Yeah, these are definitely art cards. So these are art cards of some of the CGs in the game. Tuta and Limbo. I think we're going to have one for all of the love interests. Shu. Uh, yeah, this is Helvetica. And this is Mozu. And they look similar to me sometimes. But it's fine. And Scarecrow. And oh, then here's like the big cast picture. So yeah, this is pretty good. I think I had the same kind of thing in the Galgun one. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to frame these or what. So I'll set these aside, keep them nice. Now I knew this was in it. Like a fake New Sieg People Weekly Magazine. Oh my god, there's actually pages in here. Oh, it's the art book. So here we go, we got an art book. It's got some character design sketches. So here's Helvetica. I did his path when I reviewed the game. Mozu. Scarecrow. And there's some side characters. Uh, I will stop in case there's any spoilers in here. Uh, but it's very nice. The paper... It's printed on, it's kind of meh, it almost feels like newsprint, so I would be very careful. It's a, It feels fragile on the inside. So uh, if you get it, just be gentle. Box is empty. I'm going to pull out this phone, phone because game publishers can be crazy and hide stuff. Nah, no such thing here. Don't be mad I said that, P-Cube. I love you. Now, we got some real fancy stuff. Box is empty. Done with it. This is a pin. Okay. So, you know, you go to anime conventions, or you're just a shameless weeb out in public, you can uh, wear these pins. We got one for each of them. I wonder if this is like the CG from when they confess. Because they, they always do like a close-up on the bachelor's face when they confess. Hang on, I'll open these later. Let me get all these buttons out. Here's Helvetica. Mozu. Who am I missing? I pulled out Scarecrow. Come on, you're killing me. Limbo. I, I said it in the Galgun unboxing. I never go for the main character. I'm just a hipster like that. Okay, Teuta has one. This is cute. This is a tote bag, I think. Yeah, it is. Ugh. Pay your respects. Let me lay this out. That's nice. Oh, yeah, they got like a respect jar because they all live in the same house. It's like a meme in the entire game. 
We got some uh, keychains where they're um, cats. I guess they're cats or rats. No, they're not rats. So here's Scarecrow, Mozu, Limbo. Are there two? No, they, I swear these look almost the same. Shu, Teta, Helvetica, and pretty sure this is Limbo. Now let's go to the main thing. This is what I was holding on to. These are like uh, placards. Hang on, I'm going to be gentle with this. I remember reading about these. Yeah, I'm a liar. I, I start off saying that I'm going in blind, but I'm like, hey, I remember this. I'm just going to throw away the plastic it came in. Okay. I don't like this. It feels like I'm going to break something. But I think I'm supposed to, because I think this is like an acrylic stand. Yeah, 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 that's exactly what it is. But God, does it not feel good to break this. Especially when they made the acrylic around it so nice. It's got, like, a pattern. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me put my hand up so you can... See, it says, like, Busta Fellows. It's all smoky. Like, this is worth keeping, even though it's just the thing around it. There's a plastic film over it. But uh, let's see if I can put it together without ripping off the film. Or did I mess up already? No, let me take off the film. Or they're just little circles. I think. We're keeping it attached to the acrylic. So should I tore these off first? I didn't break anything, so it's fine. This is the only one I'll put together. I think. And then I'll just show you the um Okay, it just snaps together. So we've got a little scene here with uh, Shu and Helvetica. That's nice. And it just stands up. You can put it on your computer, on your desk. All that. How many do I got? One, two, three, four, five. There's five more of these. Oh, screw it. Let's do them. And, okay, yeah, I don't think you gotta keep these, because, look at this. It's already threatening to come out, so it's not like this plastic. This plastic is definitely not meant to be kept, or, you know, these things are meant to be taken apart and used. Okay, the back isn't the same pattern, just in reverse, so it has a front and a back. A decisive front and back. Are all these the same shape? Not that it matters. Uh, let me film. Let me see. Uh, no, they're not the same shape. Cool. How did I do this one? Because the stand is a dollar bill, so I did the head behind. So let's keep them all the same. Christ, I don't like how it sounds when I do this. Alright. 
So this is Mozu and Limbo together. Just vibing, doing their daily life. I'm surprised how many there are. Because, uh... I mean, if you order the collectors, you get the game, too. I forget how much the collectors is off the top of my head. But the point is... Is that... If you... A little off topic, if you're a fan of Hollow Live, they charge you, like... $150 for this many stands, and they're like tinier stands with just the character on them. That doesn't mean I didn't order them, so you can look forward to that unboxing when Hollow Live stuff actually gets here. I'm gonna lose these little sticky circles. Yeah, that one went on nice. This is Mozu and Scarecrow. So that's two with Mozu. I didn't really like him. But I never really like uh, Kudere characters. Actually, no, that's a lie. I liked Yuki in uh, Haruhi. But that's really it. I tapped the camera there. I'm probably going to end up breaking one of these on camera. I'm trying to put them together. This one doesn't have any. No, there we go. There's a sticky circle. Y'all can't see them on the camera too well. But, uh, they're there. You can hear them when I break them apart. I almost threw the plastic away. Okay. Here's our first one with uh, Teuta. If I can get the camera to focus. With uh, Limbo and I think that's Luca, one of her friends. Let me throw away this plastic film. That's the first one with Teuta. And the only one with Teuta. I swear I'm butchering her name in some way or another. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I'm going to put them somewhere, though. Uh, I almost threw away the plastic again. Always pay attention when you're doing this kind of thing. I can't imagine how bad it is for uh, people who make, like, Gunpla. That's Gundam models for you non-weebs. All right, fourth, fifth one, uh, Helvetica and Scarecrow. And now the last one. in the back. I'm hoping I'm getting this on camera because I got to focus. I'm small brained putting a 
pig in a slot. Is taking all my attention right now. All right, last one. This is shoe in limbo. I'm sure you can find nicer images. Come on, focus. There, there we go. I'm sure you can find nicer images online, but uh, you get these little acrylic stands. Set the knife I used to open this aside. Here's all the acrylics that these came in. So let's look at our haul overall. God, the acrylics are going to take up all the space. We got our Catboy keychains. Pay your respects. Tote. Here, let me lift this camera up. There we go. You can see it a little better. Pay your respects. The buttons with all the characters. A fake magazine art book. The art cards, which I'm not going to lay all out. That would just take up even more space. A cardboard box. And the game itself, because... That's very important, because there's been a trend of including collector's editions without the game. You know who I'm talking about. Mass Effect. Alright, and then... I'm pretty sure this is the soundtrack. I'll play it. Eventually. And, uh... That's everything. That is our Busta Fellows Collector's Edition. You can check out our review of the game on nichegamer.com, and uh, thanks for sticking it all the way through. Uh, as the Zoomers say, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Have a great day.